Sage. How are you there? A very good morning once more. My name is Patience Shikwa Mwana. I'm the Chief Operating Officer for the South African Sports Confederation in Olympic Committee. You all welcome at the Olympic House. As a norm, we acknowledge the presence of all dignitaries and everyone who's present today. So may I first acknowledge the presence of our Deputy Minister, he'll be joining us just now, Honorable uh, Herr Kostaisen. Let me also acknowledge the presence of our Honorable President, Tatu Gideon Sen. May I also acknowledge the presence of the Ambassador of Brazil to South Africa, His Excellency, Nedilso George. Let me also acknowledge the presence of our Deputy President, Ms. Hajira Kaji. Let me also acknowledge the presence of our Vice President, Ms. Les William, uh, Mr. Les Williams. Let me also acknowledge, I always say, our one and only IOC member, Dr. Sam Ramsemi. May I also acknowledge our board members that are present here today. Let me also acknowledge our SASCOX CEO, Mr. Tabi Reddy. In the midst, also colleagues who are joined by our advisor to Minister of Sports <laughs> and Recreation, Mr. Max Uzani. Let me also acknowledge the presence of the presidents and chairpersons of our national federations that are here today, together with the provincial sports confederations and their representatives. Also, colleagues, we are also joined by our sponsors. And let me acknowledge the presence of our National Lotus Commission, also the presence of Discovery, and also Sasol who are with us here today. Let me also acknowledge a very important guest, which is our athletes. I think you might have seen them already. We've got athletes from rugby sevens, we've got athletes from athletics, we've got athletes from Abanyana Banyana, we've got judo, and then we've got cycling. May I also acknowledge the presence of SASCO management together with the staff. And let me also acknowledge all the invited guests and our media who are here today to make sure that whatever that we're going to say today, it's, it's taken out or given out to the public. Ladies and gentlemen, let us just take you back a little bit that we gathered here today for the announcement of Team South Africa that is going to go to Rio, 20, to Rio for the 2016 Olympic Games. Taking you back four years ago, South Africa participated in London and we took 125 athletes who participated in 17 sporting codes. What an amazing Olympic Games that we went to in 2012, because we came back with six medals. And just to remind you, we brought back three gold, two silver, and one bronze. So ladies and gentlemen, let's take you down memory lane, and please watch and enjoy the trip. Olympics is really, really, really it's scary in a good way, you know what I mean? It's, it's like, wow, I'm going to the Olympics and I'm actually going to be an Olympian and I stand a chance of winning gold in the Olympics, uh, which is something you can only dream of. So, like, these dreams are all coming true and it's, it's so amazing. I feel like we, we blessed to be in this position. focus on what you do, you take step at a time and then you achieve whatever you want to achieve. The world number one wins it very comfortably indeed and that is so, so impressive. Yeah, in my mind I just, I, I see myself winning, you know, that's, that's, that's just what it is, you know, I have to, I have to at least retain my title or, and may possibly add to that. It's unbelievable, it's a shocking upset. Every sportsman's dream is to go to the Olympics. Being part of Team South Africa, that's going to be truly special. It's definitely you know, something special and you know, the general public would never get to do that. So it's something that uh, you, know, you can take with you for years to come. Richard Murray from South Africa wins! Astonishing performance. 
and look what it means to him. Touching the wall, yeah, it was uh, life-changing for him. What a performance! Celebrate! Well done, Cameron Vandenberg. Yeah, winning gold is it's one of the proudest moments of my life, and uh, something that we would like to repeat this year. When we beat everyone over the goal on our blocks, we all know that it's going to be intense. What a boost for South African athletics! Absolutely fabulous.
the Pesemra and Samuel after the call there. Well, this is part of your show, the Olympics. You've been around there and you've been doing this for so many years. And so, Ajira, deputy, thank you very much for coming. Les, thanks for coming. And all our sponsors here from, from the Lotteries Commission. You heard last time when we stood here uh, what they did uh, to help us and all our other sponsors, but patients that may mention them and tell them will probably do that the same thing. There's great excitement around what we're doing now. Real great excitement. You will recall that we've been on a journey and as the CEO rightly said, it's been a long journey. We made it a point many years ago that this country can be a force to be reckoned with on the world stages of sport. But we had to do something about it, and that was to say to ourselves, let us have a criteria that will enable us to do that. It has not been easy, and it's still not easy. But what we want to present to you today are athletes, or men and women, with amazing stories. Check. And this is what we are appealing to the South African public to do for us, is to follow these athletes. And at a later stage, Jade, uh, Gene will explain to you how you can do that. But for now, we are saying to the South African public, these are men and women with amazing stories. And those are the stories that are going to motivate us as South Africans and them as they listen to the comments that we make as they represent our country <coughs> of life. I just want to share with you some, some of those moments. Right from the top, the man who's going to lead this is a man who defied death and came of the, out of the ICU to lead this team today. These are the amazing stories that we constantly ask people to concentrate and focus on. Amazing stories around chat. We don't want to go into the deep things of that, but think about the man as he prepares himself now. Alistair Hatfield is one of the coaches. He's been around the swimming pool for ages. And he's part of this team, and he has a long story to tell us. Custer has been through it, and Custer has gone out of it, and is now ready to show the world that here I am. Say what you want to say. Lindsay Hanukkah, the 400 meter hurdler, speaking to him yesterday at the High Performance Center, I said, Putin, who legged it? Coming all the way from the Western Cape, he said, Mr. Sam, I left everything behind in the Western Cape. And I came to Gauteng because I had this day. There's Louvo. I still recall the day when I sat with him in Pal in Bekwene, on a huge stadium there, just the two of us. And Louvo is here. He's here. Think about LJ Fonsey. After London, LJ came to me and he said, Yenna Manier. I said, yeah, don't say Manier. Yenna Manier, I let you down. He knew that he failed there. And LJ is back, saying, this time around, I want to show you. Look at Bridget. Been an up and down since London. And Bridget is back, and she's got a story to tell. And what about people like Kate Roberts, 
Kate Roberts arrived at the HPC and said, I'm looking for a job. And they told her, but we don't have money to pay you. And she said, that's fine, let me work. And look at the athlete that is preparing now. South Africa, these are the men and women that will wear the green and gold and go out to Rio and represent as well. And once again, we ask you to focus on those performances. Banyana Banyana has been through it. Our under 23 has been through it. The sermons with Neil, and I know that Neil has been agonizing to put his final squat on the field. He didn't know whether he must put in COVID. He didn't know whether he must put in wherever. But when I met him at Stellenbosch, he said to me, we will put a team together. And here they are. And they are there to say to us, we are going out, CEO of SAFA. You have done what you could do for your two teams. Thank you very much. Here they are now, ladies and gentlemen, and they say to you, stand behind us. I think you are correct, Abi, by saying that. We've come to this point now, and it's up to you, South Africa, and your support of these athletes. And so, look up at the screen as we present to you the athletes, the men and women that are going to come back with their head held high because they would have represented us with honor. I thank you. The moment we've all been waiting for. The announcement of the team that will represent South Africa at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. Aquatics. Julia Vincent, diving. Michelle Weber, marathon swimmer. Chad Ho, marathon swimmer. Dylan Bosch, swimming. Miles Brown, swimming. Calvin Justice, swimming. Jared Cross, swimming. Douglas Erasmus, swimming. Chad Leclo, swimming. Michael Mayer, swimming. Matthew Mayer, swimming. Christopher Reed, swimming. Sebastian Rousseau, swimming. Bradley Tandy, swimming. Cameron Vandenberg, swimming. Sean Adrianza, manager. Graham Hill, head coach. Dean Price, coach. Cedric Finch, coach. Igor Omeltchenko, coach. William Sherritt, diving coach. And Alistair Hatfield, marathon swim coach. Athletics. Alistair Conley. Karina Hall. Wenda Nell, Anel Oerstezen, Justine Palferman, Lenique Prinsloo, Dominique Scott, Casta Semenya, Tsunufelo Tibe, Sunet Filiu, Antonio Alcana, Stefan Britz. Enrico Brenchis, Willem Kutzen, Elroy Halant, Leroux Haman, Lindsay Hanegong, Anaso Jobotwana, Tokiso Liotela, Luvo Manyonga, Hotso Mukwena, Stephen Mukoka, Mark Mandel, Clarence Munyai, Jacob Rosani, Ruswal Samai, Lebohang Shange, Akani Simbine, Wayne Sneiman, 
Wade van Niekerk. Reinhard van Rensburg. Rocco van Royer. LJ van Zeil. Christine Kalma, Marathon. Lebu Palula, Marathon. Ervet van Zeil, Marathon. Lungi Le Gong, Marathon. Lusapo April, Marathon. Sibusison Zima, Marathon. Peter Lawrence, Manager. James Molloy, Marathon Manager. Irma Reineke, Coach. Marina van Niekerk, Coach. Paul Horace, Coach. Dersius Liebenberg, Coach. Badminton. Jacob Malikal. Chris Dednam, Manager Coach. Canoe. Bridget Hartley. Craig Mustard, Manager Coach. Cycling. Kyle Dodd, BMX. Alan Haverly, Mountain Biking. James Reed, Mountain Biking. Angli Kachelhofer, Road. Ashley Mulman Pasio, Road and Time Trial. Daryl MP, Road. Louis Menkes, Road. Brett Coates, Manager. Jonathan Chislett, BMX Coach. Carl Pasio, Road Coach. Douglas Ryder, Road Manager. JP Jacobs, Mountain Bike Mechanic. Gary Blem, Road Mechanic. Equestrian Tanya Seymour Ingeborg Sane Manager Coach Kirsty Taylor Crew Football Men Rivaldo Kutzir Keegan Dolly Jody February Itumelen Kune Tertius Malepe Menzi Masu Eric Matoho Diolin Mekwa Ishmael Mgonyama Abubaka Mubara Maposa Mudiba Debuho Muerane Tashrik Morris Lebu Mutiba Gift Mutuba Mutobin Vala Levi Ramajwe, Manager Owen Dagama, Coach Tabo Sinom, Assistant Coach Freddy Kumar Baktawa, Goalkeeper Coach Simone Conley, Fitness Coach Football Women San Barker, Amanda Lamini, Andy Lamini, Refilue J, Bambanani Mbane, Mamelo Makavane, Stephanie Malherba, Noko Mato, Sana Mullo, Robin Mudali. Linda Mutalo, Octavia Nokwanya, Nompumelelo Nyande, Lebuhang Ramalebi, Jermaine Sioposinwe, Leandra Smida, Janine Van Veik, Notando Vilagasi, Barney Kujane, Manager, Vera Pau, Head Coach, Desiree Ellis, Assistant Coach. Francis Chansa, Goalkeeper Coach. And Shaleen Boysen, Video Analyst. Golf. Paula Reto. Dion Flowers, Caddy. Ashley Simon. David Wuhai, Caddy. Brandon Stone. Simmons, Caddy, 
Jakub von Zell, Jason Reynolds, Caddy, and Gary Player, Manager. Gymnastics Artistic, Ryan Patterson, Jonathan Okada, Manager Coach. Judo. Zach Piontek. Nikola Filipov, Manager Coach. Rowing. Kate Christovitz. Ursula Hrobler. Kirsten McCann. Leanne Purse. Vincent Breit. Lawrence Britton. Jake Green. David Hunt. Sean Keeling. John Smith. Jonathan Smith. James Thompson. Roger Barrow, Manager Head Coach. Andrew Grant, Coach. And Paul Jackson, Coach. B Sevens Cecil Africa Timothy Agaba Kyle Brown Juan de Jong Justin Hadot Werner Koch Cheslin Colby Dylan Sage Siabelo Sinatra Alberta Smith, Philippus Sneiman, Roscoe Speckman, Ashley Evert, Manager, Neil Powell, Coach, Renfred Dazel, Assistant Coach, and Alan Temple Jones, Assistant Coach. Sailing, Stefano Marcia. Asenati Jim, Roger Hudson, Brevin Thompson, Manager Coach, Triathlon, Gillian Sanders, Mori Rabi, Richard Mori, Henry Skuma, Kate Roberts, Manager Coach, and Lindsay Parry, coach. Medical staff. Kevin Suban, chief medical officer. Danielle Lincoln, doctor. Paul Maporto, doctor. Karen Schwab, doctor. Grace Hughes, chief physiotherapist. Hugh Everson, physiotherapist. Ashley Hansen, physiotherapist. Colin Hill, physiotherapist. Avilash Lukan, physiotherapist. Sergeant Morta, physiotherapist. Hendrik Maria, physiotherapist. Rano Wanzeke, physiotherapist. Eva Ramashala, physiotherapist. And Sandhya Silal, physiotherapist. Congratulations to every member of Team South Africa. We know you will make us proud in Rio. Sascock would also like to acknowledge the contribution of our valued Olympic Games sponsors. Your support allows our sports stars to shine on the biggest stage in the world. And in a first for Team SA, Sascock provides the public an opportunity to be part of the team at the touch of a button with the launch of the Team SA Rise app. Download the app to get insights into each athlete, up-to-the-minute schedules and results, or post messages of support to the team while they're in Rio. The Team SA Rise app is available across all platforms. Download it now to check out the members of the SA Olympic team on your smartphone or tablet. Team SA Rise! The biggest concern, of course, is that the whole medical team of South Africa is in Rio. 
precisely because you don't want anybody to complain and say, I was not looked after medically. Well done, sir. Okay. Now, for you to understand what is the app all about, it took us some time. Uh, we, we worked on this because we wanted every South African has to be clear. But the lady who explained that to you was Jean Kelly. Thank you, President. Good morning, everybody. Um, just very briefly to take you through the presentation, I think that it uh, just about said uh, everything that is going to be within that app. But the app will be available on the Google Play Shop within the next 24 hours, as well as in the iOS Apple Store within the next few days. The app will constantly be updated with various information, team profiles, news, photos, schedules, results, so it constantly will be changing, so please take note of that. The Paralympic Games aspect will go live on the 19th of July when the Paralympic team is announced as well. So we hope you download it, enjoy it, and start using it. There are youngsters at home who can help you with this if you are in my age group. <laughs> <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, it uh, now gives me pleasure um, to announce our chef de mission. And before I do that, let me let me just remind you what happened in uh, in Glasgow with the Australian team. Suddenly, there was some misunderstanding between coach and athlete, and uh, the team management had to take a serious decision about what to do, because these things happen. And if your seniority in your team is suspect, you are going to have these kind of problems. So our wisdom has been that we take the toughest, toughest administrators to the games. Because the most important thing is that we have to support our athletes. We have to make sure that we understand what they want and we can talk to them. So we then decided that the man who's been running around since London, putting it all together, working with a team here at Suscock and ensuring that everybody understands how to march according to the music that is, that is playing. We asked Mr. Tabi Reddy to lead this team, so I'll shift the mission, Mr. Tabi Reddy. <laughs> Mr. Reddy, the entire country asked me to tell you one thing. And that is, you've got a job to do. All our people that we send out are not given cameras for a specific reason, because they're not tourists. Anyone on that management team who think he or she is a tourist, you've got it all wrong. And members of the media, you have seen it in London, and you have seen it in Glasgow. If you go into our medical center, those physios and doctors work into the early morning of the day, precisely because we want to see that. And to ensure that that is well coordinated and managed, we have to take the senior, senior person in the organization to make that possible. So congratulations for stability. The next thing is not a flat bread. <laughs> we'll have to come to our dinner. You want to hear the flat bread? No, come to the dinner. So that name will not be announced here. It will be announced at the, at the dinner. And the reason why I don't have the name because I don't know who it is. <laughs> but the one thing I can tell you now, there are incentives. People are going to get money as they perform. For the individual medal winner, there is 500,000 on the table. 400,000 will go to the athlete, 
and the person and the people behind the scenes, the coaches, the coach get 100,000. Gold medal, so please all of you, make your coach happy. <laughs> Go for gold. Huh? <laughs> if it's silver, it's 250,000. 250,000, 200,000 go to the athlete, and 50,000 to the coach. Now remember this is in, in uh, Able and Paralympics. Bronze is 100,000, uh, 80,000 to the athlete, and 20,000 to the coach. Well, in team events, uh, Mr. Kobe, we will not be able to give every seventh player 500,000. But the 500,000 is there for you guys. I mean, you guys, uh, money is, by the way, not so many. <laughs> money is by the way. But for the team, there's your 500, you decide. Uh, you take the 400 and keep that and give. Uh, I'm talking to you now as if you've got the gold. Because, Tabi, are they, did you say something else to them? Okay. So, you get your 400, and Neil will get the 100. Okay? That's gold now. I can't talk to you about silver, that's for other people that I'm now talking to. The silver will be 250 and 200 for the athlete. That's the same in the relay. Now sometimes people will ask us questions. Yeah, but there were six in the relay. No, no, there were four who will get the medal around there, the next. Not so. So what we say is that it is between that team and their coach as to what they want to do. All we say is that if they get gold, that's 500. 100 goes to the coach. Bronze is 100,000. We're not talking team. And I'm sure the sevens don't, they, they, you know, they don't look into those kind of money. 80,000 for the team and, and 20,000. Ladies and gentlemen, we have tried our best. Those of you who wrote about Suskok and um, all our challenges, you will be aware that at some point we were wondering whether we will ever have these incentives. But thanks once again, I must say that Thank once again to all our sponsors who really came forward, uh, the National Lotteries Commission, uh, Telcom, Sport Recreation South Africa, Solid never forget Olympic Solidarity, the people from the IOC, um, uh, Discovery Health has now joined us, and, and to all of you, thank you very much for what we have done. That ends my story. And I give over to the lady who carries the oh. And another big round of applause, colleagues, for the team that is now Let me now request our government, which always provides us with support and ensures that as we prepare and when we go to the games with the best team, with whatever support that we need. May I now call upon our Honorable Deputy Minister, Umkher Tlosteizen, Atobu Adelman, over to Intet. Thank you, Program Director, to President Gideon Sam. I want to share with the media this. I asked uh, the president now when he came to sit down, uh, how much do you have with the kitty? Because I think the goal is going to come back to your country. And he was laughing, but I'm confident we'll bring it back. Mr. President, Gideon Sam, uh, the deputy and the vice president, uh, Mr. Sam Ram Sami, member of the AFC. Uh, I see here the ambassador from Brazil. Thank you, Your Excellency, for gracing us with your honor. Those are the persons. Uh, Tabi Reddy, congratulations, CEO, on your announcement as a chef de mission. We are very happy with your appointment. Uh, we know you very well, and we know you play the tune and they've danced the waltz according to that. So we're looking forward to that. And uh, members of the media, thanks for your presence, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning.
It's really a pleasure to, on behalf of government and the Department of Sport and Recreation, deliver a message of support given the announcement of Team South Africa who will be participating in Rio 2016. Allow me to, on behalf not only of the government but also the Ministry of Sport and Recreation, uh, take this opportunity to firstly have to congratulate each and every one of our athletes that qualify to participate in the Olympic Games. Well done on meeting the stiff qualification criteria of the Olympic Committee for your respective sports. It's indeed middle achievement, and we really trust that you will celebrate with the entire country today upon the announcement of our team South Africa. We acknowledge and appreciate the athletes' finesse, your expertise, your prowess in your specific discipline of sport. Allow me to sincerely express how proud we are as a government and the ministry of Team South Africa today. You must know now, going forward, focus your minds and your bodies on participating in the Games. It is the capstone experience for every athlete to participate in the Olympic Games, let alone to medal at the Games. We trust that you as the athletes will know that the entire country is united behind you. We are, in fact, as excited as you are. I'm certain that the incentives for meddling Mr. President at the Games will further inspire you and the athletes to give of your very best. But remember one thing, you are ambassadors of our country, South Africa, and your conduct, both on and off the field of competition, has to be absolutely exemplary. You must visualize winning as from now going forward, your event, but do so ethically, please. Team South Africa, to our view, you are true stars. So go out there, go and represent our country with pride and with excellence that we know you will. Let me just say something. You, as Team South Africa, assist us to unite the nation as we celebrate this announcement of our team going to fly the flag of our country in Rio de Janeiro. We are with further pride that it happens so, Mr. President, in the month we on the 18th of July will celebrate the birth of the father of our nation, Nelson Borislavska Mandela. So when you go there, you go as one team representing one nation. Go there, bring back the gold to this wonderful country where we believe it belongs. And yes, we are looking forward to finally say one more year to you very soon when you depart. But as for now, you are you are carrying with you the hopes and the aspirations of the entire nation. Go out there, make us proud because we are a great people. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honourable uh, Deputy Minister. Uh, one thing that I can say to you about the Deputy Minister is that to the athletes or to the team, one, you must know the national anthem. Two, you must know how to stand when it's sang. So let me just emphasize that, or else you'll be in trouble if it's, if it's closer to you when we sing the national anthem. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, we come closer to the end of our program, and to do a vote of thanks, let's welcome Vene Kok, a rugby player. Last November, Kok received the highest honor as he was named World Rugby Sevens Player of the Year after a stellar 2014-2015 season. He's going to come and do a lot of things. First of all, wow, what a team. Um, good afternoon, everyone, members of the media. Um, uh, President and SASCOP team, thanks for the honor and the, the privilege to say a few words of thanks. Thank you to SASCOP leadership, President Gideon Sam and CEO Mr. Tabi Ledi. The Sports Recreation South Africa for all your support. To the major contributor, the National Lot Lotteries Commission and all the other sponsors, Discovery, SAA, Telcom, and 361 Degrees. Without these sponsors, it wouldn't be possible. Thanks, thanks for everything. Um, I'm sure all the athletes, 
and Nigel are very, very happy and can't wait to go to the Olympics. To all the athletes, congratulations for qualifying. Um, just go do your best. Go have fun out there, and I'm sure we will make our country proud. Thanks. Thank, thank you very much, uh, Vene. Colleagues, we, we've come to the end of our announcement. And let me also say congratulations to all the members. Uh, one writer said, you were born to be athletes. You were meant to be selected. This is your moment. So go out there and be our ambassadors and make us proud. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to do a QA. and a uh, We'll have one-on-one -on -one interviews. So I'm going to ask Jess to manage that process and please have my name, patience, because everyone will want to interview people so that at least everyone will be able to get that chance. But before you leave, snacks are set outside. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming and thanks for really blessing our event. Have a good afternoon. Thank you very much.